Meetings on Facebook. Got it. Okay. Should be one more. Should be one more comment. Okay. Well, hello everybody on Zoom. We're waiting for Facebook to fully come on. Um, let me see if it's on right now. I'm gonna put you on mute. It is on. Okay, so today we have a phenomenal artist and a really good friend, Rajat. Rajat is from India. Rajat's a brand ambassador. Um, he travels all over India, like the Pied Piper of India, explaining to people about art, how to use supplies. He's absolutely phenomenal. If you haven't seen his artwork, please um, take a look at it. Rajat, welcome. I think you're on mute, Rajat. Rajat, you're on mute. No, there you go. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Hi, hi everybody. This is Rajat. And um, thank you, John. You're very, very welcome. So I see um, it just went to a static page. Let's see if I could come out of that. So I've been having trouble, so we're hosting from somewhere else. Um, Letty, can you, I can't see Rajat exit full screen. Okay, so we're gonna be seeing some of uh, Rajat's um, artwork and then uh, Rajat will be doing a demonstration. What's phenomenal, like you see in this little picture that I see here in front of me is Rajat's holding all the watercolor sticks in his hand. He can hold more than anybody I know. Um, and this is his information. Why relate with Rajat? <laughs> be because you have to relate with me, then only you will be able to understand and see my work. So that is <laughs> that is the main reason. That's beautiful. Okay. Rajat, do you want to explain what we're seeing? Well, I mean, uh, my still life is a little different from you know, as usual, people do the still lifes. I consider this, these images, I mean, the paintings as a still life. And of course, I love textures wherever I found. So, and I do a series of work. So whenever I do, earlier I did a bird, then earlier I did a car series. So recently I started doing a series of work, which is a textural again. So rusted and textures, and these are full sheet, full imperial sized work. So full imperial, wow. Yeah, these 56 are full imperial. Six by seventy six. Fifty six by seventy six. That's right. Well, this this is also on a. Uh, we were traveling to hill. Our car got you know, flat tire, so we are rectifying. And I found this particular visual in the left side, which is the tire one. And I took a picture from there and I portrayed, these, these are all full imperials, sized one. And if you see that, you know, the, wherever you see that I really fond of textures. So even the gunny sack, even the muds. So all minute details, I would love to, Get it to that particular thing. Mm -hmm. Rajat, do you work in your studio on all of these? You take pictures and then uh, take them to your studio and work? Or I are do, you some of these um, outside or plain air? In I situ? do plain air as well. I do plain air as well as a, a studio work also. So I like that way. Thank you. Thank you. So this is my today's reference picture, which I'll be doing today. I must say that this picture has been taken by Irina Kalyakina. She's from Russia. She's a photographer. Uh, and the best part is she, the visual, I like more, you know, like the textures and all. She does the photography like that way. So I have taken a permission. She has given me the permission to do this. So this will be my today's walk. 
I'll be trying to portray this thing. So if you see that small dots are there, you know, the snow dots are there. It's a winter scene, of course. So I would like to portray them. The winter scene is because uh, he wants to refresh himself from the heat. Absolutely, because in India already the summer has approached uh, and it's a bit hot. So after seeing this picture, I feel at least I can feel a little bit cold. Yeah. And so here I we have a request. Here yeah. we have a request from please. Um, uh, BJ Bolan. Okay. She says, please remember to begin with paper brand size, the ones that you're going to use today. Uh, the type of paint colors, brushes, uh, everything, the fiber, the size. So mainly the, the materials uh, she would like to, to know. Okay, so this is today's uh, size of the paper will be just uh, 14 by 20 inches. That is the size of the paper. And in, this is in Indian handmade paper. And the brushes I'll be using, uh, of course, uh, Da Vinci is there. Then predominantly I'll be using Da Vinci. And uh, some of the brushes are like Unico, which is uh, B and B. So Borchani Bonazzi. Borchani Bonazzi. Yes. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So these these are the brushes I'll be using. And okay. without saying, I'll be using Daniel Smith color sticks. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Rob, so, I, I, so Rajat, anytime you want to start. Yeah, I'm. I'm. Only thing okay. I might. I. I will take one minute time to just flip the camera. Please of guide course. me. Yeah. 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 Is it horizontal or vertical? Because every time I struggle <laughs> to do that. <laughs> no, nope. it's horizontal. Do. The only thing is, is that a, it's upside down. Okay, so I mean, one this is what. Time. Time. Yeah, we we yes, practiced perfect. earlier. Yes. Wonderful. Okay? Yes. Okay. In one go, I have done. Yes. <laughs> well done. You're an expert now. Well, so as I said, this will be the visual of mine. Oops. Mm -hmm. so. This will be the visual. Uh, I'll be starting now. Yes, absolutely. I'm going to give you as much time as possible. Yeah. Uh, Chuck asks if you will be using um, sticks, only sticks. I'll be using only sticks. Yeah. And apparently it will be lesser sticks in my hand today. Only 12 will be there. Otherwise, mostly 20, it says, but it's going to be 12 today. Wow. Rajat, so there we go. Yeah. That uh, stick holder I see in the upper yeah. left. Yeah. Where, where did you get that? Is that main, it was that for lipsticks? Cosmetics? No, it is, no, it is whenever the people come for the blood taste and all these things. So this is made with a thermocol. They put the, all the uh, barrel, the uh, glass barrel. So I found them and I brought it. So that's, the, you know, 100 sticks for, can be put together. What, what is it originally used for? For glass vials. This is, this oh, is it the, has uh, to, if you're getting your blood drawn, they put the little glass vials oh, yes. yeah. in it's just styrofoam i was getting my blood drawn yesterday and i saw some of those and i thought huh i wonder if i could use those <laughs> that's funny yeah so it is like we need to keep our eye and ear open the things are already there with us so we just so. knock off a, a a a blood draw person and tell them give me your give me your Absolutely. little holder <laughs> 
Or else I won't give you my blood. Absolutely. Okay, fair enough. So there we start. I think you started with a lavender. Is that right? That's right. That's right. So I'm mixing the color. As you know that I mostly I don't use uh, palette while using this. But at times I do. If it is a longer background, you know, flat background, I do use. Otherwise, I mix the color. Hello, Rajay. So, Rajat, do you hold your um, your your paint as if it's on a palette, the same colors in the same place, or random? Uh, no, I didn't get you. Rick. It, he means if you if you have a certain order for holding your your. But I uh, but I I am really com uh, comfortable with this. So that's but, why. Uh, are they, do you place uh, your sticks in a certain order, like you would place them in a palette, or just random? Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. It is in a particular order. See if you see that you know these are the uh, primarily I'll be using them. So some of them I'll be using less. So like that way. So I know that whichever, whichever the color I'll be using more. So I keep the sticks like that way. Thank you. Welcome. Oh, right. Yan Min, we have a message from Yan Min. He says, great okay. job, my friend Rajat, watching from the hospital. You know that he's in hospital. Oh, thank you, Yan. I'm missing Sending... you. Get well soon. Yes, yeah, sending our best vibes. Oh, that's this is very nice guy. Jan says fever has lowered another five weeks to go, about one week hopefully at home, and then probably operation. Oh. Thanks. Thanks, dear. Well, we hope to see you very soon and that you, you get better very, very soon. Yeah, he should. As you must have seen already that I do, you know, very minute job in a very my slow process. So please do intimate me about the timing because I may. Yeah, we will help you with the timing. Please. Yes, I will keep telling you how much, how much time is left. Thanks, Angela. Uh, about, uh, Christine is saying, can write that image be larger? I don't know if you can zoom in. Uh, uh, it's may it might uh, be a bit difficult. It will be uh, for me, like now with my hand. Yeah, because the, you're holding your sticks. Yeah. Yeah, both the hand will be required. But yeah, Laura is asking uh, if you're using lavender, and definitely you're using lavender and white, as far as I can see. No, this is a buff titanium lavender. Ah, buff. Uh, ultramarine and cobalt blue, all this okay. thing together. So it is not okay. only one color I'm using. Uh huh. So yeah. ultramarine blue, lavender, um, cobalt, and cobalt. buff titanium. Absolutely. So it's a mixture of three bl of two blues, a lavender and a buff titanium, which is like quite neutral. It's not totally white. Is there any moisture in the paper? No, not really. So I'm just, this, this paper is a dry. So I'm just. <laughs> and this, uh, this lady, I think it's a lady, BJ Boland, she says that poor brush and he's using it even on its side. <laughs> She's beating the brush. <laughs> <clears throat> That's the reason we are using uh, what do you call Da Vinci. So, however torture we do, it is there. It 
stays <laughs> with me for years. Yes. And yes. for that now matter, the... even Escoda is also equally. I uh, mean, that's I. I do say that that's also equally good brush. Yes, but uh, is it uh, synthetic? Escoda. No, no. This one is synthetic one? brush. No, this is this is a, a natural. Kolinsky. 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 Yeah, that's oh, right. Wow. Ah, yes. What is, yes, D DJ uh, says, yes, I am a lady from Carisbat, north of San Diego. But what is your name, please? My name? No, no, her name. Oh, her name, okay. Because uh, D DJ, I don't know what that means, what that stands for, <laughs> BJ. Oh, that's her name, I think. BJ uh, is her name, yes. Uh, Dian, uh, he's working on, um, okay, BJ, okay, thank you. Uh, couldn't get online earlier, so maybe Letty, can you share the photo, the reference photo again for the people, uh, for the latecomers? Thank you, Letty. This is a snow scene. All right. And this is a, a silver brush, which I'm using now. Oh, you changed. Yeah, I've changed. So that's how you achieve the texture with the brush. Absolutely. Very, very I, like. <clears throat> absolutely. Half dry. And I do yeah, this is a dry brush, which I'm a technique, which I'm using. Uh -huh. So the hairs of the brush are very like, you know, in not not together, very separate. Not together, exactly. Right? If you see that, yeah. Uh -huh. Gabriel is in Facebook and he's saying hello from San Diego. We have Hi, people Gabriel. from yes, from te East Texas. Why is this from, not me? From many places, from California, Liechtenstein. Oh, that's good. Germany. Yeah, Rafael is here also. Lorena. Hi, Rafael. Lorena. You're muted. Okay. Oh, yeah. No, I, yeah, that's right. I usually see her. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, see, I put up, I had done these in classes. So that, I, I always wanted to do that one. I thought that was a beautiful. Hi, Rajat. While you're preparing the painting, I'd love yeah. to be able to ask you a question. This is Anna Marie. I'm so glad yeah, to be Anna here. Marie. Um, I was wondering if you'd be willing, you've been working as a professional artist for many decades, and that's so encouraging to hear. And I was wondering if you'd be willing to share some of the foundation stones that have helped you with longevity as an artist. And I was also wondering yeah. if you could share with us um, what are some of the things that you wish you had learned earlier as a professional artist? Thank you. Thank you. That's a really good question, critical question you have asked, Anna Mary. <clears throat> good that you have asked. See, uh, it's from the very beginning. I mean, uh, what I've been taught by my teacher when I was very, very young. So he just told me that Everybody become an artist. It's so easy to become an artist. But try to be a good human being first, then an artist. And which I'm till date strongly trying to do that. So let's see how far I can go. Um, as far as this overall experience and all this thing is concerned, like, 
one second, just a second. Rajat, can you explain to us what colors you are using now? Uh, this is <clears throat> Quinacoram uh, burnt uh, orange, and this is burnt sienna. These burnt sienna? Uh, Quinacridone yeah. burnt orange, burnt sienna. And, and uh, Luna black. Luna black? Yeah. So you mix all the colors when you paint. Yeah, that's right, that's right. And so after trying to be a good human being and an artist, uh, yeah. you were a designer, I think. I, I actually, I was in advertising for more than, uh, I think 27 years I was in advertising. I was working for an advertising agency. And so on 2011, I left my job and I got into this ocean of fine art. But what did you study? Uh, fine art? No, I studied in applied art, which is... Applied um, art, yeah. Yeah, which is for the advertising. Oh, okay. Kathy is saying hello from Skopen, uh, the other side Hi, of Kathy. the state. And morning snow, she says. I don't know if she means that there is snow there. Uh, well, <clears throat> I didn't get her question, in fact. No, no, there's no question. Oh, you, who you mean, Anna-Marie? No. Hello, Rajit. Hello. Hi. Hello. Uh, I'm looking at some pictures of snow the other day, and we generally... Um, depict snow in light blue, but because of its crystal like form, when light hits it, it can reflect all sorts of color. How, how do you feel about that? Uh, what I is the question, question exactly? Uh, can, can you, def uh, can you uh, express snow? in multicolor rather than what we traditionally do with blue. Do you understand, Rajat? No, not really. Because I mean, um, I... uh, he's commenting, Ian is commenting that the snow, because it reflects, it has the crystals, it reflects many colors. It and does. And traditionally, we, we represent uh, the snow with like blues or in your case with a um, combination of blues and lavender. But he says, how would you feel representing snow with more colors, like multicolor? Yeah, even this is also going to be multicolor only because this is just the primary uh, color which I've given. As yeah. I said that I, I do work very uh, minutely and I love this texture because of the texture only I have, you know, picked up this particular visual. So I'll try to finish as much as possible, but I don't know how much I can go. Thank but you. But how would you feel about using a red or a green in the snow? It is there already. I'm, I'm using, it will be there because the snow means it's a form of a water. And yeah. water, these are transparent. Even the snows are also transparent. It, it catches the reflective lights. Exactly. That's what Ian was saying. Yeah. Yeah. So all the colors will be there, but well, it will be gradually it will come. Thank you. Thank Most you, good. Ian. Uh, Rajat, what green are you using? This is uh, just a second. Serpentine, give me. Uh, serpentine. Yeah, it's a primatech. Primatech. I want to read a comment from Bridget. She says, Rajat, you are really inspiring uh, me to use my brushes in new ways as you did the snow shadow background. I treat my watercolor brushes as though they are fragile, missing out on the opportunity for dry brush techniques. 
freedom. Oh, thank you. But only thing is, it may look like I'm using very roughly, but these, I do believe that these are also fragile, but I do take care of them very carefully. It looks like I'm using very roughly, but which is not. It is five to eight, so you still have 35 minutes. Oh. You have plenty you. of time. I swear. Thank you, Angel. So, Rajat, having spent 27 years in advertising, which is very structured, I, I would assume at times, how did you transfer your knowledge that you gained in advertising into the more creative watercolor field? See, I found I, uh, you please don't mind if my answer may hurt somebody or I don't know, but it is like basically being a uh, fine artist. We all are fine artists. We, we produce very good work, but we don't really don't know how to sell the work, aren't we? We many a times we get stuck where to sell, whom to sell, how to sell. So here, that advertising background is helping me a lot because end of the day, you have to sell your, because there are, it's, it's, it's a costly, 100% it's a costly line. Rajit, is, is that because uh, sometimes as artists, we don't have enough belief in as artwork to want to sell things because it's sometimes that feeling in me exactly can you repeat the feeling i, I i'm not always confident in my ah. work enough to be able to want to sell things maybe it, if you're a commercial person it gives you that that extra bit of strength to is do so See, somehow or another, you, you want, when we have to be commercial at the end of the day, isn't it? How much can you spend money from your pocket? So, so either today or tomorrow, you have to uh, sell your work. But there is a process. One has to learn. The, I mean, so in advertising, that is from being an advertising background, it is helping me a lot. It is not that I'm not saying that I'm selling my artwork every now and then but well i have learned that process which is very important then i comments that uh, if one enters local shows this can boost one's confidence Thank you. So Cheryl wants to know how did you and how do you actually sell your artwork? In this social media, should I say? <laughs> yes, is that helpful? Yeah. <clears throat> I sell my work through the uh, my contract. Your contact? Yeah. Me. So you have I to know build some art. Sorry. I am saying that you need to build the relation. You need to build a relationship with the people, then only people will buy you your art. So I know of several artists who sell their artwork through Instagram or, or other places, yeah. So you think that's a good way? It, it could be a good way, but till date, I haven't sold one of my painting through the Instagram or Facebook. Oh, no? No, not a single. I only sold my painting uh, through my personal 
contact my own oh, uh, live. relation yeah uh, in person okay yeah in person and if you do exhibitions also yeah through exhibition of course it can be Cheryl is also asking, how did you build your contacts? That's a million dollar question. <laughs> <laughs> Good question. He's not going to give away his secret. <laughs> yeah, the, way I'm, yeah, the way you came to me, I came to you, it's a similar way. I think you have to pay for secrets. That's what... <laughs> Because maybe there is not a formula, you know. Yeah, there is no formula. Contacts, friendships. So it is not like you know how to behave good and all these things. It's as similar as this question is as similar as that. So it is exactly like how we are interacting with the people. How, but there are one thing I strongly believe. I I believe in we rather than I. Mm -hmm. Great, yeah. great concept, Raja. Thank you. This is, I strongly believe. Kati has a nice question. How do most people maintain the color name on the sticks as they are used up? So, because the paper, you will have to, the paper will get, the stick will get shorter and shorter. How do you yeah. keep the name? By the time this paper will go shorter, you will remember the name. <laughs> so there you go that is your answer so yeah. Rajat, with those sticks do you just pull like tear the paper down as it gets shorter uh, my uh, objective is using the sticks you won't believe uh, predominantly I'm using the sticks for a couple of years now Wow. Does it wow. does it look like I regularly no. paint with the sticks? Yeah, yeah. I paint oh regularly gosh. with the sticks. Yeah, yeah. Wow. So that is the reason I am telling all my students, try to do this thing. These sticks are, you know, an exceptional innovation uh, by Daniel Smith. So this is uh, I think consecutive three years I'm using this. Holy Some cow. of them, yeah, yeah. So this is if you see that this particular color is a new color. This is a new sticks. And if yeah. I compare with this, wow! I think half a cent, not even a centimeter, a half a centimeter has gone. So oh my gosh! Yeah. yeah. So, and the picture which you have uh, the uh, in the PowerPoint uh, program, you, you, whatever the painting you saw, all paintings done by uh, sticks only, because oh. I think uh, I, I'm really fond of sticks. So. So that's why you say that when you have to really tear the paper, you will know the name of the stick by then. Yeah, yeah. that's why I'm saying that by the time this uh, the paper, you have to tear the paper, you will remember the name. <laughs> if you don't mind me interjecting at this point with that matter, uh, well, I've got I've got Daniel Smith sticks, and they have a little box that I'm showing now. And what I do is I write with a, a, a sharpie the name of the actual thing and it gets put back in that. Yes. Thank you, Ian. Uh, That's a good idea. You, you don't forget the name then because it's in its own box. That's, yeah, that's good for you. That's a good, yeah, that's a good idea to put yeah, the, sure. the right the name. Can you can you maybe uh, someone uh, let me see if I can uh, can you show yes so so you Ian, do you buy Smith uh, use for that but I, literally you just you, you can't really see it that well uh, no it's out of focus but yes yeah. you can uh, use a, a pen uh, a sharpie works well. And you just write yeah. it on then. If you, if it does come off it, the oh, yeah. the paper, yeah, yeah, matter it's got its own little box and it stays in. Yeah, and Letitia <laughs> also has the the same box with the name yeah. on it. 
best way to deal with it, that. So can yeah. you buy yeah. those boxes like at Amazon or Cheap Joe's or someplace? Yes. No, it's Daniel yeah. Smith. Daniel, oh, Daniel Smith. Smith oh, okay. Oh, okay. Because I'm um, going to... Actually, I know that Blick sells them. Yeah, Blick sells so them. So Dick Blick oh. sells them as well. I think Cheap okay. Joe's sell them. Cheap Joe's sell them as well. Okay, because yeah. I'm going on a watercolor cruise next September, and I'm going to be taking sticks with me, I think. So I wanted to know. Thank you. Yeah, Rajat, yeah. that's a that's a great idea for for when we travel to to carry a a set of the um, sticks as well because they're yeah, easy, it's, portable, and it's, you can go out very quickly to paint paint plain air. So, it's much more. It is really comfortable. Like you must have seen wherever I travel, I always I travel. You know, thirty forty sticks with me, and and I do cover. You know, whatever I'm seeing in front of me out of this colors only so that's absolutely uh, great that's why i'm saying that it's a great innovation by dennis smith absolutely and, it, and it's quick too it you is know. quick it, it will you can keep it in a pocket uh, so mm -hmm. but i'm not saying that others are bad other things are bad but this is an exceptional good thing excellent Rajat, uh, you have 20, 22 minutes. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, Lucy says, Australia no longer allows liquid paints at all. So the stick solved the problem of travel. It solved because, because another problem with a tube, which I, why should I say I? Even you also face, when you open the tube, suppose you are coming with a flight, whenever you open the tube, you know, half the colors pops out. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, so, but in sticks, it's, I think, now in India, I think 35% in Indian, they are using, they started using sticks. Mm. When, they, when they got to see that, okay, these are the benefits. See, only, only thing is one has to tell them the benefit when they will know, okay, physically they will get to see, okay, this is how the they're getting benefited. I mean, of course, which is, mm. I found it's a very good uh, percentage. Yeah. Rajat, may I ask a follow-up question? Uh, with Please. moving to Africa, we had rainy season and that added a new complexity to dealing with the sticks. They became a lot softer. So I know you also have monsoon season in India. How have you been able yeah. to address that challenge? Thanks. I I haven't come across any problem. Let me tell you, uh, Anna, for that matter. But right. uh, yeah, so even in India, there you know, even the, the rainy seasons are here. Uh, the moistures are here, but the sticks never having. I never had a problem with sticks. Maybe different type of humidity. I don't know. Yeah. So. They've been so helpful with traveling. It really makes life easier. Yes. Thank you, John, for that. Yes, thank you, John. Yeah. You are also welcome. Raja, I had a request that I ask a question about yeah. the burlap. One of your paintings had burlap. Um, I don't know if if that you know what I'm talking about, um, but somebody wanted to know how you go about painting burlap. What is burlap? What is a Sorry, burlap? I yeah, even I. Don't um, know. I think it was on one of your paintings that you showed in the beginning. Yeah. So it's like a. Um, I don't, I don't know if they're right. referring to the net. Didn't you paint a the net? Ah, like, a like a net. Oh, yes. It's oh, all yes. yes. Yeah, yeah, I just wanted sack. to know how you go about painting that. Yeah, the gunny set, which you are talking about? Yes, exactly. Yes. That, yeah, so that painting took around 16 days to complete. There are more than 112, 100, 
20 layers which I have worked on. <gasps> okay. What? Yeah. That's if you see that. So each and every uh, oh net God. has got yeah every net has got three 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 to four color uh, variations. So wow. it's, it's it's more it's more like a meditation rather than a painting. I and I do it. yeah. So I do like that because it helps me to increase my tenacity. Because at times I go bonkers with that you know that I do fast job and all this thing. But if mm -hmm. I do it that way, yeah. So they're meditative to do that one. Absolutely, because and the size of the painting is a full sheet. So it oh, is wow. Uh, yeah. Beautiful. Awesome. Thank you for explaining yeah. that. That's even yeah. more impressive because I was so impressed when I saw that. But yeah, the expl too. explanation yeah. is even more impressive. Wow. 16 hours. 16 hours. Is is hyperrealism something that you like to do, Jack? Uh, it is. That's Hyper sorry, uh, Sorry. Hyperrealism. If you like doing hyperrealism. No, 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 not at all. Because I leave certain things after seeing the painting. You should. It should look like a painting. It should yeah. not look like a uh, you know photograph. So I don't uh, uh, do hyperrealism. But to some extent, well, the, you can, after seeing my painting, you can make out, okay, this has been done with a hand. It is not a photograph. It, so that uh, is 100% sure. The ones that, that you showed us earlier look very detailed. Yeah, but if you see that properly, I mean, if you, because those you are seeing, you know, maybe, you know, your own device, you know, either in mobile or uh, whichever the respective device you are looking at this particular program. but. Uh, in, your laptop in reality, or, they are not yeah. as uh, not as realistic. Yeah. No, no. You can easily can anyone can make out. Okay, this is uh, a painting. It's not a. Um, so that is. But I my, uh, personally feel good because if you are working for a texture sort of thing, you need to play some uh, detailed mm -hmm. work. So detail is detailing is fine, but not that you know complete uh, photography, because that I don't do that. Um, Letty, uh, do you have the photo of the burlap painting, the net that you could post here? I can do that on chat, Angela. Ah, uh, thank you, thank you very much, because someone. No, not this, not the reference photo, but the... It's one of the artworks. Yeah, yeah exactly. And someone has said, has anybody experienced with other brands of sticks? Actually, the only brand of sticks, the only brand that does watercolor sticks is Daniel Smith, as far as I know. There are many types of sticks, but not watercolor sticks. Yeah, I did. I actually just commented on that. I don't think that anything else is even comparable. So I have the Karen Dosh Neocolor 2s, which are like a water-soluble wax pastel, like a crayon. And I mean, even those you can, you can use them like sticks, but they're almost like opaque. They're almost like a gouache. Um, and yeah, they're just not even, I don't even know how, um, I wouldn't even consider them watercolor really in, in comparison to Daniel Smith. So yeah, I think Daniel Smith is very unique in regard to their sticks. It was the only watercolor stick available yep. when you had one and they stopped theirs um yeah nothing else is pure pigment nor pure pigment i'm glad you explained about that because i was reading a watercolor book from the 70s this week and it talked about having watercolor crayons and i was looking at it and it was water soluble but i wanted to see what people's experience was with that and obviously it's no, no longer here on the product so hearing about the opacity helps me understand, and it was more of a Conte description, 
which would talk about opacity rather than the transparency of watercolor. So they're, they're not really water. It's a different. It's a different thing. These are actually these are watercolors in a in a in a way that you can hold them, but they're watercolors. So Conte pencils are not the same. They're in a different league. Mm -hmm. And Winston Newton has also some sticks, but they are very hard and probably uh, you can't really. Sticks. They, can they cancel the sticks. They no longer make them. No longer. Make uh, they them. no longer make them. Uh huh. But they're not soft and I don't know. They, they no, probably make sure of. They're extrusions. Yeah. It's like the pins. Sorry? They're extrusions that in, the, uh -huh. in the same. same formula as their pans, um, that means they're not poured and, and evaporated and poured, they're just uh, squeezed. <clears throat> and these are watercolor sticks, which are different process in making them, but pure water, pure watercolor pigment. Yeah, you're the only ones. I think Daniel Smith are the only ones that have the watercolor sticks. So this gives us the opportunity as the artist to explore this medium and create new techniques for a tool that is unique in this context. Indeed. <clears throat> in fact, nowadays you must have you people must have noticed that in India I'm very frequently taking workshops, you know, product workshops, Daniel Smith product workshops. So I have come across many people, they got the sticks, but they don't know how to use the sticks. They bought it from the shop, they kept it for them. At times they rub it in a, you know, they dip this thing into water and uh, you know, they rub this surface and they tear the paper surface also they you know put it aside they're using the other media other format like tube or pan and when they were to see this particular exercise from me again they you know they said okay is that the way one should use i said precisely so that's so good to hear that and see that you know things are happening really positive way because Many people, they don't even know what is the watercolor sticks, first of all. No, no, no. So yeah. many people don't. Mm -hmm. They don't know. So but when it they is... got to see. Yeah, see. No, no, continue, please. Well, you know, when people ask about the, the Daniel Smith watercolor sticks, we need to send them to your videos because this way right. they get, rather than explain it, just say, here, this is how it's done. You know, good advertising. That's, That's what I did. I know having the sticks gave me a lot more freedom to paint on the airplane. Just yes. it was limited it was size wise, it was limited mess wise. Mm -hmm. I could sit there in my itsy bitsy little airplane seat and paint as long. Mm -hmm. Everybody's a captive audience around me. So I have a dozen models. So I appreciated having them on the airplane. Yeah. Yeah, that's lovely. So we know what we'll do uh, when we head out to Bologna. Yeah, yeah exactly. You have a long flight ahead. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and it, I think it's worth talking about uh, the new set that have come out recently. Uh, Rajat has a, a set of how many colors? Four or five? Yeah, five um, of them. Five of them. Uh, and Caroline Diebel has another set of uh, colors, like Letty was showing before. Letty was showing the sticks in a, in a packet that they come with a box, and they are the favorite colors that uh, these four artists, I think, have chosen, like uh, Bishnik, uh, Rajat, Giovanni, Giovanni also. Giovanni, exactly. Yeah, I think Letitia was holding Giovanni's set. Uh, so it's four sticks, one for free, and the case for free. Okay. <clears throat> ah. ah, so you pay for four and you get the fifth one free. Oh, well. <laughs> and wow. the case. And the case. <clears throat> well done. What are your colors, Giovanni? With my set is core, core mixing set. Uh -huh. Core mixing okay. Is on Sahelo medium, quicker acridon coral, lamb black, cobalt blue, a tallow green yellow shade. Wonderful. And Rajat, what are your colors? Oh, I will just. The so tiles are granulating. Set. Yeah, the Sorry? granulating colors. 
Yeah, you have some Prima text, right? For Prima text and Lunar Black. So, Ragata, Serpentine Genuine, Hematite Genuine, Sodalite Genuine, uh, Piemontite Genuine, and Lunar Black. Oh. Yeah. I've wow. also pasted on the chat uh, direct link to Rajat's uh, more information about the set, his oh, set oh. using the text. I, yes. I just. I love Luna Black. So see the Luna Black is already there with me. Whether I whether the subject requires or not, I do use Luna Black. This is one of a kind color. I mean, see, uh, black is there, but Luna Black is has got some different flavor altogether. Yeah, and I'm sure those who have used, they can they will agree with me. Aren't beautiful. You? So how many brand ambassador sets are out now? Four, I think. Four. Right, okay. John? Four sets. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Well, the going Zichi Maili and Caroline Debo and Rajat and, and Giovanni. Cool. Mm. Beautiful. I love Rajat's colors because they are too. granulating and they yeah. create uh, so these textures. Somebody was asking before if you used something else apart from the brush. I don't think so. It's just the, the beautiful yeah. texture of the colors and, and the brushwork mm -hmm. and layers. Yeah, there's 100% uh, it is a brush. No, no other, uh, you know, people put uh, bubble bubble sheet and they put yes. some, yes. take some impression or something like that. Nothing that sort of. It's 150%, uh, this is, uh, what do you call <clears throat> brush work brush with a brush work? Mm. Yes, it takes, and, it takes and layers, time. especially and layers, layers, right? Yeah, <clears throat> you have to have a certain amount of patience to do that because uh, this process will take good amount of time. It's not that you know, it's not a quick job. And as yeah. I strongly believe in watercolor, there's no norm. You have to finish the work within 45 or 50 minutes or one hour. It's not that. As long as you're using that, you know, the making the, taking the principle, principally uh, right, your processor. Like, you no, know, see, in watercolor, there are only thing is, nowadays we are using one to 5% of white. Earlier, we never used to do that. So nowadays people, you will get to see. Otherwise, mm -hmm. there is no norm. Yeah. That sort of, yeah. You're absolutely right, Rajat. Mm -hmm. Kim Hay is saying, uh, it is tough to find sticks in Canada. Is there a list of who might sell them? I generally have to order them online. Well, uh, in on, on uh, Daniel Smith's website, in I think maybe under resources or I don't know exactly what menu, um, you can, you can uh, find all the the shops that sell yeah. them yeah yes yes it's online one day yeah. and find a retailer yeah exactly retail. exactly thank you thank you Where's so kim you can you can go there yes wow Richard, that is amazing it's beautiful thank you wow just to let you know, there are five minutes left or six minutes. Okay, okay, that's cool. You need to finish though. This will another two and a half hours work left. So what? I'll, oh. yeah, so, oh. <laughs> so I'll. <laughs> Roger. Yes. With um, the snow, would you, if you were doing it, would you encourage? Doing uh, cauliflowers uh, in in the snow area to give it texture. Cauliflower. Yeah. Cauliflowers. It is a technique uh -huh. fat wash, I believe it's sometimes called, but we call it cauliflowering, where where, where the paint like pushes back away from itself. I didn't, I didn't get your uh, question yet. Do you know, Rajat, sometimes when you, 
it's like blooming when when the paint is uh, is still damp and you put more mm -hmm. water then it you create a cauliflower or a blooming and it, it gives oh, right. still a wetter paint now yes and uh, ian would like to know if you would consider that for making like textures but i think your approach is different isn't it you yeah, you my, my, more yeah layers. that's right you're absolutely right so my approach is totally different than uh, what one can do that in you know that's why all the five fingers in a different size so we all are different so i mean whichever the format you are doing and whichever the format i am doing you know these are experiments like i haven't done so far what you are saying but one can do that certainly yeah we're all different mm -hmm. yeah So Penny Horsley is also here. She says, thank you, Rajat. Lovely work. Oh, hi, Penny. Thank you. And Kathy is asking, is this a patch of snow in the of moss in the snow? Yes, I think it is. Yeah, it is. Because that is in Facebook and she cannot see the reference photo. Okay. It's uh, almost time, but uh, we love seeing you. Yeah. No, it is like I can leave for the moment. In fact, uh, wow. Because as I said, that I'll complete that entire thing and certainly I'll post it. Uh, and that. Could we see the reference photo again, please? Yeah, sure. Okay. I'm sorry. Ooh. No, it's okay. beautiful. Oops, yeah, just a second. Is it visible? Wow, beautiful. Can you work. maybe bring it nearer to the camera? Can you bring the, the reference photo nearer to the camera? Mm -hmm. uh, more yeah. to the right, um, more to the right, to the right. Yes, thank you. And now, can you show us your your painting, Nero? Very nice. Wow. Can Beautiful. you bring the painting closer, please? Yeah, sure. As you can see it. Yeah. Oh, that's lovely. Beautiful. Wow. Mm. So beautiful. Thank Very you. Nicely com uh, uh, complimenting the texture of the paper as well. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. I do I yeah, I like to do in uh, rough textured paper. Mm. So I'm just removing oh. the uh, phone from that stand so that yeah. Hi. Okay. Oh. So that was rough that was rough paper, Rajat. You painted on rough paper. I didn't get that. So this is yes. a rough texture. What I'm saying, and okay. this is an in Indian handmade paper. I okay, always try you. to do work on a rough textured paper so that I use that texture of the paper. I use them okay. into uh, what do you call okay, my thank texture. You. Thank but, you. Beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you, John. It's really awesome. Thank you, everybody. You're so thank welcome. You, Can Can you please... everybody. Thank you, Rajat. Thank you, everyone. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you. Bye. Bye. everyone. Bye. See you next week. Happy weekend. Bye. Bye. Thank you, Rajat. Bye. 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 B